the News 8 Storm Team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Just talking about that, I had to wipe the dog's paws off when I brought him home or else my wife would have killed me. Anyway, check it out, the satellite view and the radar. A lot of clouds out there. Every once in a while we get a break. But you notice these lines of snow. You know how they were arcing? That's a cold front coming through. Now we're seeing those streamers coming off the Great Lakes. Not going to be a lot of snow. You get these snow showers or snow flurries coming through. They should die out. They're all with this front. It's coming through now. It's an Arctic cold front. Much colder air coming in behind it. And that's how that, those snow streamers kind of line up with that northerly flow coming right off the lakes. And occasionally some of those flurries make it down in here. It's down to one right now in Bradford, nine in State College. Most of us sitting here in the teens. There's some of those streamers coming across parts of uh, Perry and Mifflin counties down in Adams counties. Again, this nothing ain't real heavy, but some of the high spots wouldn't surprise me to pick up a quick coating out of some of these snow showers. Everybody feeling the teens out there, but the teens are only half the story. You have some gusty winds, and with the wind, it's feeling like it's down at or below zero. Clouds coming through right now in Carlisle, as you can see those clouds, and, and that's what we expect through the evening hours. Clouds, and it's going to be windy and cold. Some flurries. Also, continue to watch for blowing snow. I know I was riding in today. Roads perfectly dry. Then all of a sudden you go by a field and that wind comes across and covers the covers the road up a little bit. Wind chills 10 to 15 below as you're going out through the evening hours. Overnight tonight, probably the coldest. Single digits. Wouldn't be surprised if some of the outlying areas get down near zero. But the winds at 15 to 20, 25 miles an hour and gusting a little higher. Yeah, we could get those wind chill factors down around 20. 20 below, by the way. As Matt was saying a little earlier, that's where you get frostbite. Frostbite with about 30 minutes exposed to your skin, especially your ears, nose, your fingertips. So that's why you want to cover those up. Again, some blowing snow could also be problematic overnight tonight. Windy, very cold day tomorrow. And we may get up near zero in terms of wind chill, but we'll have some sunshine. But temperatures are only going to respond to about 20 degrees. So watch the numbers fall. The snow flurries go away. We only get up into the teens tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. Clouds start coming in tomorrow evening, and then we may get some snow showers coming through on Friday, but at least we get to near 30, right? We'll watch the wind chills. Yeah, there they go, down around 15 below overnight tonight. That's the coldest, I think. They'll start to recover a little bit during the day tomorrow, but still, most of the day they're in that below zero range. It's still the same thing tomorrow night. Now, Friday's a little better in terms of wind chill. But still, by all means, it's a blustery, cold day out there. That, those snow showers coming with another one of these uh, surges of cold air, another Arctic cold front. Look at that, only low 20s behind it on Saturday. Sunday, we rebound a little bit. Monday, Tuesday, we may get a little mixed bag of precipitation. We'll keep you updated on that. Our kids' art comes from New Providence for night. That is Tayshawn Becker from New Providence. It looks like some fancy snowflakes there to me, anyway. And a weather watcher umbrella for this evening goes to Janice Moyer from Denver. Congratulations to Janice.